Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're here back again for my year 2017 and for the month of August the prompt is hot and cold. If you're not a member of the My Year 2017 Facebook group, that's, it's a Facebook group, uh, and you'd like to be, or a member of my other art group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, maybe you'd like to send me happy mail, maybe you'd like to support my channel and the videos here on my channel, the free content, uh, by contributing to my tip jar or shopping in my Etsy shop. All the links for all that stuff, they're in the video description, so check it out. All right, so today for my my year journal for August talking about hot and cold and kind of using it as a prompt to help me gauge where my creative mood is or where my mood in general is during the month of August and although summer in California is um, fairly warm uh, not as warm as uh, some places but it's pretty warm um, I'm using this as more of a prompt to help me with my emotional and creative temperature. And uh, in that sense, I found these at Lowe's. These are just, I can't even tell you, they're wonderful. So yes, these are paint chips from the paint chip department. And um, I, we all collect paint chips, let's be real. So we do mixed media, we collect paint chips. <laughs> um, but these are unique. These, I love these particular ones. So these have all of the colors, suggested colors that go together. But then they have photo examples of where they've pulled those colors. I love these for a mixed media artist. You could do a journal page with one of these paint chips. You've got three inspiration photos you could use on the page and then you could actually cut these paint chips out and also use them on the page. But you could also use it to help you, say you wanna use this brown, what colors are gonna go with brown and give me a subtle, soothing, calm look. Well, here you go. So you have all the colors right here. I love these and I will be using these a lot in my journaling going forward. I may have to go get a few more of them. And right now I am going to look at them and I'm going to pull aside the ones I think showcase the temperature of my mood, hot or cold. I'm sort of mid-warm, I think. I'm working on having my business make more money and so I'm going towards the greens, which is a, a color that symbolizes making money, but I'm not quite there. Um, let's see. I'm feeling some of these warmer ones with the greens and the yellows. That one's kind of nice. one's kind of nice. I don't want to think about it too much. Just, you know, which ones are appropriate for my journal for today. And then I'll show you how to use them. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to actually go with this one. The first thing we're going to do is cut it apart. Actually, I take that back. You know what? I'm going to go with my first instinct, which was to use this one. I was just talking about not thinking about it too much. I like this one for a number of reasons. It has a picture of a, um, a woman doing something on it and for me that symbolizes part of my journey now in doing something about my art business, um, getting some my exercise and taking care of myself, all of those things. It's very early in the morning. I'm trying to film this before. I didn't want to cut the name of that off. Well, I'll just paste it on. Uh, before the tile guy gets here, because we're still working on my bathroom. 
and I think I've had like two sips of coffee which isn't a lot Got all our pieces, got our glue. I think I want a little piece of book text. So the first thing we're going to do is I have a sticker, one of my stickers here is sticking up. So let's put a little glue under that. It's not wanting to stick to the masking tape underneath it. So that's fine. We'll just glue it down. Okay. So use, use something like these paint chips to create a little mini collage or layout in your journal symbolizing the temperature of your, of your mood, your creative mood, or your just maybe your emotional mood. You could do it that way too. You could just glue them in. You could do some doodling around it. I plan on at some point do some journaling around it. So something like that.
Okay, I like the way that looks, so now I'm going to journal around it. I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> there we are. I'm going to zoom you in just a bit. I love this page. <laughs> I love it so much. I can't even tell you. It's fabulous. So, I know for some of you, this might be out of the box for you. And some of you, it's not. It's not painty. There's no doodles on here. It's just using what you find around you to help you express what kind of temperature or mood that you're in. Hot or cold. Um warm or frozen, uh, journal around it and you'll notice I picked some of the words out and highlighted them with a white gel pen, some of the words and phrases for me. I love this page and this spread. It's fabulous. So, go to your local hardware store or to your creative stash if you have paint chips in your stash. Pull some things out, pull out some images. I love these because you've got all of it on one card. These are from Lowe's. Uh, and create something in your journal that's representative of how you're feeling and then do some journaling around it and uh, see what happens. Try not to think about it too much, just feel it. Alright, that's it for today. Check out the video description for more information on the Facebook groups, my Etsy shop, and then my website and all that stuff. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Okay, bye guys.